What's up guys and welcome back to the channel, or if you're seeing this on my ex, welcome to my ex. Today I'm going to give you a basic step-by-step -step guide to how I'm currently using Dex Screener and a few other sites to trade meme coins. As you will have noticed, the meme coin market is absolutely crazy right now, and if you want to capitalize on the hype, you'll definitely find this video helpful. This will be part of a series covering all the tools that I use to trade meme coins. In later videos, we will look at personal strategies that I use to trade these assets, a specialized web-based trading platform called Photon, Telegram bots, and I also want to cover Bitcoin runes at some point as well. This video does assume a certain degree of pre-existing knowledge, like using a hot wallet such as Phantom or Metamask and swapping tokens on decentralized exchanges such as Radium or Jupiter. The content in this video does not constitute financial advice of any kind. Trading meme coins is extremely risky and I insist that you always do your own research. So Dex Screener is an extremely useful tool for tracking real-time data for decentralized exchanges and assets. You can view live charts, spot new token listings, analyze trading volume, check liquidity, and much, much more. This is the best platform I have found for trading meme coins, and I use it every single day. In this video, we are going to cover the basics, but we'll also show you how to find new launches, identify trending coins, potentially avoid rug pulls, and track social sentiment. So if you head over here to the Dex Screener website, the link is in the description down below, it should bring you to this page. This is the home page or dashboard. You can always get back to here by clicking the Dex Screener logo in the top left hand corner. Here you'll see the top trending coins and there's a fair bit of information on each of them, including price, volume, liquidity, etc. Now most of these coins are going to be on the Solana network. We recently have seen an increase of meme coins on base, but at the moment Solana remains the easiest and most affordable network for developers. Now if you can see both the logo and the pair name, that's the first sign that the token is doing well. It does mean that the developers have paid Dex Screener for this, so you can make of that what you will. This page will be sorted by what's trended in the last six hours by default, but if you come up here to this blue tab, you can quickly filter by five minutes, or an hour, or even a day. And if you come across to this drop down menu here, you can rank the coins by a number of different values. Going down to time frames like five minutes can help us really see what's pumping and popular at that exact moment in time, which may be a point of interest for a lot of you. It does depend on your approach, of course, and your risk tolerance when trading. A handy little trick is if you see a coin you like, just right click on the name and open it in a new tab. This allows you to quickly flick between live charts and deck screener. So once you've found a coin you like the look of, you can view the live chart. Now personally, I tend to like to look at the chart first before moving on to any of the actual data such as market cap or transactions. This is simply because I don't want to go through all of these details for there to be no good entry. However, one thing that is super important to check before moving on to the chart is whether liquidity is locked. And you can do this by hovering over the liquidity tab here, and this will tell you what percentage of the liquidity is locked. So a really easy way to break down a meme coin chart is with waves. In this video, I'm not going to go into too much strategy, but think of this as super basic Elliott wave theory. Typically, we will see three waves to a meme coin price action. The first wave typically looks like a small pump, followed by a correction. And the second is a larger and faster move up to put things in a new all-time high. At this point, we tend to get another larger correction, and then one of two things will happen. We put in a third wave, which is a much longer, more extended, bigger move to the upside, or we kind of fizzle out and the coin just dies. The reason that we break these moves down into waves is the strategies used in wave two are very different to the strategies used in a wave three movement. Now I will say that the chances of a meme coin having a wave three and becoming a long-term hold is rare, but it can happen. Personally, I don't like to get attached. There are some that I have conviction in for long-term plays, but these tend to be projects that are already very well established with at minimum several hundred million in market cap. Typically when dealing with meme coins you're looking to get in and out pretty quickly and make that quick 2, 3, 4, even 5x return on investment if you're lucky. There are of course exceptions to these wave patterns. Some coins will go parabolic, some die and then months later pump 10,000% out of nowhere. So you can never know exactly what is going to happen but trying to find the next dog with hat is like trying to find a needle in a haystack. The odds are extremely low. 
Anyway, the real reason why Deck Screener is useful to us is because it puts all the most important information in one place. So if we come across to the right hand side here, we can see each coin has a custom banner and just underneath it says website, Twitter and Telegram. Now if it only has one or two of these, I would suggest staying clear of it. I personally like to see all three here as it tells me that the developers have at least invested a little bit of time, effort and money into making this project. But more importantly, sometimes if there's no X page, it's because it's been banned or something along those lines. So again, I would stay clear of coins that don't have all three. Furthermore, heading to the website or X can give us a lot more insight into the coin, its roadmap and the community. Now you can see over here there's a little copy button next to the name. It kind of looks like two pieces of paper and if you click on this it will copy the coin's unique token address to your clipboard. We're going to take another slight detour here. We're going to head over to another website called BirdEye. The link for this will of course be in the description. From here you can paste the token address into the search bar and it will take you to the coins page. If you scroll down and expand the security tab, we can see if the token has had mint authority revoked and the ownership renounced. Now these are both very important. If you don't see a tick next to these two, it's a major red flag. Scrolling down a little more, you can also see the top holders by wallet. If you see, for example, one wallet is holding 20% of the supply, then that can be another red flag. Typically, we would like to see under 15%, but it depends on the developers, the team, and the strength of the coin. Another website that's going to be really useful is RugCheck. RugCheck will actually give you a rating and a score based on several variables telling you how likely the coin is to be a rug. I wouldn't trust this 100%, but it does add confluence and objectivity to an entry. 90% of the time, unless the coin is extremely well established, you will always see a warning that says there's a low amount of LP providers, but this is extremely common for meme coins and not something worth worrying about. So if we come back over to Dex Screener, you can actually see the total amount of liquidity here. Another thing you should check is market cap. So if you come up here and change the chart from price to market cap, this is an interesting and alternate way of viewing the chart. You'll notice on a lot of charts there's a lot of resistance at round numbers. Typically demand drops to wait to see if we break through and sometimes there's also a lot of limit orders trying to front run these levels and take profits. And here's another quick tip for you because often you will see quote unquote a panic dip after those levels. This can be a great opportunity to buy before it moves up again. And right now, the meme coin narrative is so strong, even simple strategies like the ones we've covered today can be enough to make some good returns. Just be aware of the risks here and always take profits along the way. Another thing we can look at is transactions. The first thing I would do here is click the little funnel button next to where it says USD and filter by $500 or $100 minimum. Otherwise, it's just going to be moving too fast and smaller orders don't really move the price, so it's not really giving you any information that you need here. Once we've done that, you can see there's a little maker code on every transaction. If you hover over that, you can see how much they've bought and sold and total profit. You can see if people are taking profits and you can see if there's any botting activity too. Some of these coins have bots that make significant trades back and forth to increase the volume and get it trending. And some of these trades can also be MEV bots. The other thing you can do on Dex Screener, aside from looking for trending coins, is actually look for new pairs. Just up here, it allows you to filter by age, so we're going to change this to six hours. And now if I filter by lowest age, I'm just looking at the newest coins. And for these, the same initial process, open this in a new tab. This time, there's going to be much less of a setup because nothing has happened yet, but we're going to check for rugs or scams. At least 80% of these rugs are going to happen within the first few minutes of launch, so we're definitely on the riskier end of plays, but we're also, by extension, on the higher reward end. I'll try to find an example of what a rug looks like and put it up on the screen for you. This means that everyone who invested will now have little to nothing left. So I want to emphasize the reality of that before you go ahead and start aping into new coins with your money. So make sure to do basic checks before jumping into a new token. Another thing we can do is going back to the memeable idea from earlier is look for what narratives are working in the space right now. 
Now, these narratives change all the time. A week or so ago, it was misspelt names of public figures. Over the last few days, it was Book of Memes. And more recently, there's been some very questionable narratives. So a lot of devs tend to jump on this, and so do buyers, of course. Coins along the trending narratives tend to give a better chance of returns. Now, at some point, a narrative will get very saturated, and that's the chance to look for new narratives. So a new narrative will come, typically one coin will do really well, think Whiff or Bowden, and as a result of that you'll get a few similar coins that also do very well, often not quite as well, but very well off the back of this narrative essentially, so that's a great thing to look out for. Typically a popular narrative won't last much longer than a few days. Finally, guys, if you do find yourself in a successful trade with a good chance of winning, there's no reason why you can't take out your initial investment and some profit and then let the rest run just to see how things go. So that's all you need to know to use Dex Screener and find new meme coins and trade them. The key to trading these assets is to stay objective and not greedy. If you can turn a profit of $1 or $200 in a short space of time, that's really good. And I think with all this mania, people's perception of ROI can get really messed up. Even if you're making $200 from one trade, if you can do that a few times every day or even once, you'll still be making significant returns. So again, I just want to stress, don't get greedy, take profits. Now the next thing that I may personally want to check is short term volume. To do this I come up here and this is going to show me the volume on a very short time frame. Good volume here would be a good buy signal and if you look at the one minute chart and look at the volume bars at the bottom, you want to see these volume bars increasing, you don't want to see them tailing off too much here, you want a nice strong flow of volume and these bars to be increasing in size. Now good marketing can really benefit a coin. No marketing can send a coin straight to nothing. So it's really important to look for these signs, but the fundamental and most important aspect is the community. If the community are determined to make the coin work and the meme is good, then the sky really is the limit. Another thing which comes kind of instinctively if you've been around these spaces for a while is, is it memeable? For example, Pepe is just a massive meme. It had a whole community before the coin. They probably did some marketing at the start, but now it sort of just carries itself. The same goes for Dog with Hat and a few others. So if you see something like this that maybe ticks all the boxes, you can consider a longer term hold if you feel it is a high conviction play. Another thing I want to add here is, again, there is risk in all of this. So if you're new to trading meme coins, please don't send your whole account into something like this. It takes time to get a feel and understanding for the space. So start small. Now, there's so much more we can cover in this video. For example, there are several Telegram bots that we can use to check the safety of a coin through various metrics like tracking dev wallets, checking if the coin has been heavily sniped at launch, etc. But these are slightly more complex and something I feel would be best covered in a separate video. For now, I hope you found the information in this video useful. If you're looking for a team with experience who can make the best picks for you, Trading Floor is the place. Our coaches cover everything cryptocurrency related, not just meme coins. We cover a broad range of markets, including indices, stocks, emerging markets, through a combination of technical and fundamental analysis. You can find the link to join in the description of this video or at the bottom of this thread. That's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.